Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Everyone fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry I was like doing like this, but it's just that my feet were like itching too much, so I was taking my socks off. Uh it started to be a little bit more cold, so um so my skin is not used to be um uh, so so covered <laughs> so that's why my um, I was feeling uncomfortable so we are today in the in the emotional week in the day of um, the root chakra uh, related to the topic for today which is joy today um, I don't I don't want to to promise anything but t uh, today I don't think I'm gonna speak a lot because I have a kind of a low energy today so I don't think I'm gonna be able to speak a lot but anyway as always I have no idea what I'm speaking <laughs> so so I have no idea so talking about uh, joy uh, in English, joy can be also expressed in in this concept of feeling joyful for something that happened uh, in a spiritual way. You can feel joyful, but um, the specific concept that we are talking about, um, as in Spanish, you may say um, gozo. Um, uh, this is this concept is not it's not much related with the uh, invisible world and what you have inside but um, it's more about <coughs> it's more about the feelings the sensations that you have with your with your body how your body feels like pleasure like feeling this kind of pleasure so a better translation of gozo in Spanish, uh, for English would be pleasure, okay, something like that, a kind of pleasure with joy. Mm -hmm. Joy comes from the Latin word um, uh, gaudere. It seems that it's not the same word, but um, but um, joy comes from joie. Uh, in French and uh, joy comes from goye that comes from godere okay so that's the the origin of the word Go, um, gaudire mm? uh, ga, uh, gaudere and gaudere means to to feel happiness uh, to feel happiness to feel full with something um, that makes you f enjoy things um, so it's like enjoy the fruits of things mm -hmm. so yesterday we were talking about uh, diversion and um, <coughs> and uh, um, having fun mm -hmm. with the creation that we are supposed to have fun during the process of creation that we have to um, to find diversion in the diversity of creation. Yes, we spoke about that. So today is a little bit more deep, the concept, which is to enjoy, to feel the pleasure on that creation, to be able to feel with all the senses, with plenitude, everything that you are creating, hmm? your, same, your, your creation itself. So remember that we have been talking about plenitude, about diversion, uh, fun, and now we talk about joy, uh, to feel the pleasure. So um, remember that to feel the plenitude is to fill up yourself <coughs> with everything uh, within, okay? Um, to, to feel yourself 
uh, full with stuff. Um, and um, then we have the um, diversion, which is getting fun, which is the process through which the being gets fun creating and then the joy the pleasure is about to feel to perceive with your senses everything that you have created so this is why the joy is related with pleasure in our history as you may say as you may, may see um we have been taught that to feel pleasure to feel joy in things in this world is basically a sin, is a mistake. Because you are just saying, I, if I am following the truth of God and God is in the heavens, so whatever is in the ground, in the earth, is the devil. So I have to leave this world because this world is just trying to confuse me, it's just trying to to make me feel trapped here so I cannot set myself free because the freedom is in the heavens, in the skies and so on. So because of this, many religions, many cultures had created this concept that um, to enjoy life, that to have fun in life, that to uh, feel pleasure in life, is basically a sin hmm? that's uh, that belief so it's important to to understand that when we see the things of the past from our point of view is very different because sometimes we say uh, but how they could think that or this or that I don't know but um, today we are in a moment that is really easy because we have free speech we can say whatever we can speak at a, about anything as i said i am speaking about spirituality but i also speak about about pleasure and sex here in youtube showing us socks and you know so we are free we can do whatever we want now we can share anything we want um so in that context, in the time, we had not free speech. We had a different way of seeing things. We had a different context. <clears throat> so we started to organize this context according to that, um, according to that um, circumstances. Entonces, so, so, so let's go to understand that circumstances. Circumstances. It's important to understand that there was no one in history that was a bad guy saying, I will control everyone, doing a system to, of repression and so on. No, it was a, it was a story of uh, just things that happened in history. Like 2000 years ago, the uh, our society, the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, they started to fall down. They started to just disappear. So in this uh, fall of the empire, a lot of people that were used to the, to the loss of the Roman Empire and many other empires that started to, to fall down, all these people just... Uh, just started to live without any law. So it was chaotic. They needed someone to tell them what to do, hmm? uh, to, to, to make them feel safe, okay? Humans need to feel safe. So because of this, they decided um, that the religion was the one taking the control because religion had kind of order hmm? and so um because of this uh of this order that that um that they, they that they had in their system they were able to help a lot of people to feel safe so religion took control on the society so this was 
the reason why society, the religion took uh, so much power because of the falling of these empires. So uh, religions were created, the main religions were created by the idea that God created us and we made a mistake, so we were kicked out from the paradise. So we started to, uh, to live in sin. And because before we were able to multiply ourselves by God, now without God we needed to reproduce like we do now with humans, uh, like humans, like animals, by sex. So humans started to live in sin by looking the pleasures of the nature so um, the religion said no we have to keep going with the law and we have to to do it right as god said and because the empires had fallen so the people started to feel safe under the laws of the religion okay so the the past 2000 years we have been living in this concept of religion okay that where the answer to a, to a social political um, uh, chaos, okay, of that time. So this is why we have to understand that the circumstances of how these thinkings begin are not the same as we have today. Hmm? And so these religions thought in order to come back again to God, to the paradise, we should stop doing natural things and we have to go up to the skies. Yeah. That's, that's the, the concept okay, that, they, that they said. So that's why they said pleasures are a sin. So these thoughts that we are sharing uh, from the last 2000 years were not like this always, constantly. Before the other cultures, before these main religions, they were totally different. They said, we are nature and we are created by the divine. So um, we are here being living expressions of the creator. So this is why our body is an energetical aspect to feel the divine, is a vehicle of the divine. So we need to understand how to feel the divine within, this fire of the spiritual. So they understood that each one of the chakras is a way to feel this divinity. <clears throat> and one of those chakras is in the genitals. So it's related to the sexuality. Hmm? So this is why in, um, in the past, uh, before two, three thousand years ago, they, uh, until 12,000 12, years ago, they were teaching, teaching the people how to manage the pleasure within our bodies, how to manage the energy that moves through our bodies in order to feel the divine within and expressing through our skins. So this was before but in the last 3,000 years, the monotheistic religions started to create this idea <clears throat> if we are going to the heavens, uh, that, that, sorry, that we are here in this planet because we were punished by God because of our sins. So everything that we have to do here is to go again to God's house because if we stay here feeling the pleasures, the, the sensations, the feelings of this world, we can get confused by the devil. Hmm? So this, this image that we have has only 3000 years old. So this is why from the very ancient point of view, what we had is this idea that we need to suffer. This idea that in order to show to God that we are not following the path of the devil, we have to suffer this reality. So if you suffer the reality, you're just a good 
son or daughter of God, that you, you are showing by your example, I am doing hard work, suffering to eat. The woman has to suffer in order to, to, have, uh, to have kids because uh, you have to suffer when you have sex, all these things. So you, uh, so you are able to show the God that you are not following the path of Satan. Hmm? So this is what happened that in the last 3000 years, we had created this idea that everything that brings me pleasure is bad, is a sin, is taking me away from God. So here is this paradox of the of the religion that if God created everything, so God also created the pleasure, also created this world, and he put us in this world creating everything that happens. Mm. So that's weird why he would do this so when i was talking with this uh, person from the islam in the pyramid he said well this this is the great test that we have to to go through and uh, i said um but why why a test why he would make us go through a test if Mm. So he created the test, I said. So if he created the test, so he hired the, the devil to create all this. So the devil is the employee of, of God creating all this just to make a test. Um, so that's weird. I don't know. Um, and then he says, no, you shouldn't follow that guy because he's the bad guy, but, but he hired him to do all this. Um, so, well, anyway, um, the thing is um, <clears throat> that this is a test. So clearly the great test that we are living is to not to get lost and to find the balance in all this creation. Hmm? But the truth is that we have never been so disconnected like since the time we have been disconnected from the joy, from the pleasure. The energy of the, of, related to pleasure, to joy, is the root chakra. And the root chakra is the one that connects the seed of the masculine with the seed of the feminine together and also is the chakra through where a baby is born. So the center of the root chakra is the center that gives life. And the way in which the spirit feels life is through ecstasies, which in a physical way we call orgasm. And this feeling of joy in the physical body, of ecstasies, is not related with sex, it's not necessary to be with other one, it's not necessary to, to do this just for reproduction. It's about feeling, it's about perceiving the pleasure. So remember that the center where all the energy of the body, of the spiritual body grows up is from the root chakra, is the one that we call Kundalini. So one of the biggest things that history have have taken away from us taking away the power 
of our own creation is because they took away the ability to have pleasure, to enjoy. Hmm? And this is a construction that we all have done by culture. Hmm? So now pay attention to this, that in the last few decades, we took the freedom back. So that's why people is being able to do whatever. Because we have freedom. But there is one thing that we don't have, which is power. We have gained back freedom, but we have no power. And in order to be really free from within, <clears throat> what we need is to empower ourselves again. Through spirituality, religion, society, culture, we all have built this idea that took the power from us, that took the freedom from us, and now suddenly we gained back freedom but it's been a long time without acknowledging what it is to have power this is why we have no power of our own body that's why we are afraid of expressing and experiencing our pleasure our own pleasure, and this is why we give our power to others. So we have been living 2000 years in which we have created the idea, experienced the idea that in order to reach the divine, we must do sacrifice. And sacrifice comes from the Latin word, the office, the job of the holy. So that's why sacrifice was the clue for this 2000 years. But next week, we start a new 2000 years. And in this new time, the way you connect with the divine is by joy, pleasure, freedom, and empowerment. The vibration for today is Vo. The statement for today is I am the legacy of the Divine Father. The code for today is the color green. The vibrational wavelength that irradiates pure light in its way towards ascension, find its middle point in green, a color of balance and equilibrium, related to the heart chakra, the middle point in our being. In nature, chlorophyll absorbs the energy corresponding to the, form, to the color red and blue wavelengths, reflecting the green wav wavelengths. That's what makes us see plants in this color. It's related with the heal, with healing based on the potentials of the plants. Sorry for my English today. I'm really tired. Let's go to the alignment. Sit comfortable and breathe deep.
I remember that I find myself in this village celebrating with the people about this connection between the heavens and the earth, the cosmic father and the mother earth. I see the fire in the center and women around the fire dancing in a circle and behind the women another circle of men dancing in the opposite direction some to the right, some to the left <coughs> I go from behind and find a pregnant woman in front of me, in front of the fire. And I put my hands on her shoulders, accompany her to sit. With the knees on the floor, <coughs> watching, staring at the light of the fire, take a deep breath and feel how you become this woman, you recognize that you are now this woman, pregnant, expecting a child, staring at the fire. As you carry the body up and down, take deep breaths, each time harder and stronger, as you acknowledge that you are beginning to give birth. As you breathe each time harder, deeper and stronger, Try to remember all the pleasures that you have felt, the most intense ones, since when you were a child, playing with your friends, laughing, eating, sharing with your family, and also the biggest pleasures that you have given to yourself through life, as those you have felt with others by sex, remember, try to remember the biggest and strongest orgasms and breathe. It doesn't matter if you are a woman or a man. Just pay attention that this pleasure that you are feeling in your feminine body is due to the energy of the masculine aspect of the spirit.
smile. And exhale your vibration, giving birth. Sing, sing, resound as you feel how you're giving birth to this new humanity from your own energy so, with the deepest pleasure, with the greatest of the joys. recognize that is my spirit, the Divine Father, that through my body, the Divine Mother, is allowing this new humanity to be born. And this is why me, myself, I'm given birth. I am rebirthing. I am the legacy of the Divine Father. I am the legacy of the Divine Father. I am the legacy of the Divine Father. Now, I see it, I see, now I see.
Welcome to life. Take a deep breath. And caressing the body slowly. Come back here and now.
thank you everybody for being there and as always see you tomorrow at the same time rest bye